everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about eight products you didn't know you needed from Amazon for your Cricut. And as always, I will have all the products mentioned in this video listed down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. And without further ado, let's get started. The first product I recommend is actually a bag for your actual Cricut. I know there are a lot of people that just have them set at like a craft station they've made or just leave them sitting out. I don't have a dedicated craft station for my Cricut. And oftentimes I find myself traveling around the house with my Cricut to do projects. Sometimes I do them in my bedroom. Sometimes I do them at the kitchen table. Sometimes I do them in the living room. So I knew that I needed something that I could easily carry around the Cricut with. Obviously I could just carry the Cricut machine as is and move it around that way. However, I did want something that it could go in since I do not have a dedicated station. So that when I'm not using it, it is protected. And this is the bag I decided to go with. Obviously it is just gray with white polka dots. It has four pockets. There is a large pocket on each end and then there are these two front pockets and it also has a handle as well as a shoulder strap and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the brand for this one but it is L-U-X-J-A and it is just their carrying case again all the products will be linked down below for you guys I cannot recommend this enough I store so many of the tools and accessories within the bag along with all the cords and something else that I really liked about it is that it actually has a zipper case for the mats and then they just kind of fold over the actual machine itself and then here is the actual machine it's really hard to show you because it's so big it's heavy and it's just really awkward picking up next up is a set of pen adapters so you can use more than just the Cricut markers with your machine these ones are from SPPQ and this pack has eight of them they offer a ton of different ones the various options for adapters that they have are for Sharpies, Bix, Pilots, Pentels, Crayolas, and a few others. I highly recommend getting these if you are someone who does a lot of card making or you're someone who does a lot of handwriting things with your Cricut because these just make it easy for you to use something other than a Cricut marker and they are super easy to use. You just pop out the regular marker thing and put this in and I believe these are universal for all the different Cricut machines but I may be wrong. I do however know it can be used with the Explore Air and the regular Cricut Maker. The only one I'm unsure of is if it can be used with the Cricut Joy. The next two are both from the same company and it is Craft World. In relation to the pen adapters, I got a set of markers. The actual Cricut markers are ridiculously expensive for markers and this is literally the exact same thing as a Cricut marker simply with a different brand name on it. This one comes with 30 different ones and it is their ultimate fine point pen set with 0.4 tips. They are water-based, non-toxic, and permanent after drying. I absolutely love these. They work great. The other product I recommend from Craft World is their basic weeding tool set. Again, these are the same exact ones as Cricut, but cheaper. You get the actual weeder, the tweezers, the scissors, the spatula, and then I don't know what this is called, but you get this too that you use to like smooth out any bumps and stuff like that. And again, they are the exact same thing as the Cricut ones, but instead of saying Cricut, they say Craft World. But to me, that doesn't matter. What matters is I saved money getting these rather than the actual Cricut ones. This next product was also a major game changer. It is Mod Podge, but it is a specific one. This one is the Dishwasher Safe Gloss, and this means that if you put any decal on wine glasses or coffee mugs or anything like that, and then put this on after, it can go in the dishwasher. Because if you do Cricut, then you know. Anything you put a decal on pretty much has to be hand washed if you want it to last. However, with this, you don't have to worry about that. Next up is Vinyl. Vinyl is another one of those things that it costs a ridiculous amount of money. A lot of the times I use the Oracle vinyl. They're the ones in the tubes that you can get at Michael's that are cheaper than the Cricut brand. However, there is also a really great multicolored set that you can get from Amazon from the brand Ohuhu. I can't actually show you mine because it's buried, but all of these are done with that vinyl with the exception of my turtle, my shamrock, and my seashell. All the other ones have been done using the Ohuhu who vinyl. It is really great vinyl. I really like that they come in single sheets. It makes it easier to cut. I've had very few incidences where it hasn't cut correctly, but I think that's the simple fact that I was using a dull blade. Other than that, it cuts perfectly through and is a great vinyl. The pack I'm going to link has a ton of different colors. It even has metallics and it comes with two of each sheet. So if you are just starting out and you want a ton of different colors, it is a great pack to go with. Next up is a roll of transfer tape. The Ohuhu pack 
package of vinyl actually comes with a ton of sheets of transfer tape but it is the full 12 by 12 sheets and I wanted something smaller and decided to go with this roll it is from HTV RONT I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it and it is their clear transfer tape for vinyl and I believe this one is the six inch one and it does come with the little grids I just prefer this because a lot of my decals are smaller ones and although having the full sheet of transfer tape is nice I find it a lot easier with all the decals that I do to just use a smaller roll you can also get it in a 12 inch roll it has the grid so you can align it and everything I don't think I've ever actually used the grid I kind of just eyeball everything I'm sure things would come out more presentable if I actually you know lined up the lines but I just kind of do it my own way and the last one is a cutter this is the Fisker sure cut portable paper trimmer however I don't use it for paper I actually use it to cut my vinyl because it allows you to get a perfectly straight cut you can measure everything out and it's one of the few things with my Cricut that I do not eyeball. It does a great job. It cuts through the vinyl perfectly fine. I haven't had a single issue with any of the cuts getting messed up or not going through all the way. One thing I do recommend though is that when you are cutting vinyl, you cut it with the actual vinyl side down so that the grid or paper part of the vinyl is facing upwards. I have just found that you get a cleaner cut that way. If you guys have any Cricut related products that you have found on Amazon that you recommend for me, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I am always open to trying new products. I am in no way a Cricut expert. I am definitely a beginner. I've only had this since December, but I would say I'm off to a great start. As you guys can see, I've already shown this here on my channel, but this is just my laptop. I'm still not done. I have a bunch of open spaces. I also really want to do a Cricut life hack video. So if that is something you guys would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys have any life hacks that you think I could benefit from and possibly include in that video, definitely leave those down there as well. So so those are just eight products that I highly recommend that you get from Amazon if you are a Cricut user. These products have been staples and game changers for me for sure. If you guys liked this video and would like to see more Cricut related content, definitely let me know in the comments down below. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new videos frequently and would love it if you would become part of our little family. Also be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!